So, um, let's see here. Before we get into this section, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about picks. All right. <laughs> So this is a whole topic in, in oh, this itself. Is, this I, is a great topic. I have totally wore this subject out, but for you guys that are kind of you know wondering what we play, it is four years later. Yeah. And obviously we've had plenty of time to experiment and, and look at other gear and things like that. And I've went through probably three different kind of picks since then. I think back then I might have been using. Oops. Ooh, I don't was know you, if it was. He was actually using your blue chip. In our was last it the blue video. chip? Yep. Okay, I couldn't remember if it was that or the Tortex because yeah. that was just before I. No, that, that might have been just before I released Bluegrass Guitar Stitch, which I can't remember. But so I wanted to try out the blue chip. I use the blue I chip. I still got blue chip. Yeah. I mean, I've still got it for, you know, if, if I want to try it out again. For emergency cases. Yeah. And I used Dragon's Heart Picks there for a while. I don't use them now because they're still, I still can't get used to how small they are. They're really amazing tone. I use the Pure for the longest. I've got videos on that. But uh, I found V Picks and started, I had some of those for years and I pulled them out of my pick collection. And started messing around with them again. I found they really had a comparable tone to blue chip, and um, decided to try those. And now I use a V chip Gladiator. You see that? It's a good pick. Very nice. And it's a triangle shape, so that I've got when one side wears down, I can flip it, and I've got another corner. Mm -hmm. And I've also got. I also recommend the V picks Tradition Light. The Tradition is a little too thick for my taste, but this is about 1.5, and so is the Gladiator. And this is a blue version. I wanted the blue. Those are my favorite colors. So I use V picks now. And what were you using back then? I uh, actually borrowed one of your picks. He, he <laughs> I my forgot picks. my pick. I think he borrowed a guitar too. Yeah. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I borrowed a, one of your picks. It was a, I think it was a DeAndrea Pro Play pick. That's still one of my favorites. That is a good pick. And um, it's a little too warm for me though. Yeah. I like a, a little bit. Of I got then after. After our video and everything, I got into, you know, blue chips and stuff like that. And, you know, tried around, you know, hints, picks, and I'm not sure if you've used those. Very good. Hints? Hints. H-E-N-S-E. Never heard of those. They're really good. They run about $20. Okay. And then uh, also a John Pierce pick. Okay. They're $10 a piece. Very good. Nice pick. Very rounded. Okay. Very good, and then if you want a you know a mid range bassy tone, that is the pick. But uh, recent recently, you know, after my long love affair with Blue Chip, uh, I cheated on her. Yeah. Anyways, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I. Uh, That's what Bluegrass is about, you yeah, know, cheating, yeah. murdering, and backstabbing you. Yeah, I I cheated on Blue Chip, <laughs> but I I still I still love her. But I mean, I, I love the Blue Chip, but. There comes a time in a man's life where he has to find a, a new pick. Yep. So, this is called a Dunlop Prime Tone. Yeah. Uh, you can probably see it better there. It's a. It looks very similar to a blue chip. The logo is actually worn off. Yeah. He's used it so I've much. used it a lot, but it's never lost its tone. Uh, it's got a bevel feel. Let me see it real quick. I'm gonna show you guys the bevel. On this thing, it's huge. It's big. I'm not used to this much of a bevel. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it sweeps right see across that? the pick. I mean, That's across the strings and big bevel on there. But I, I swear by these now. Uh, you know, you can get three of these picks for five bucks. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that is a huge difference yeah. between buying, you know, one blue chip. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can buy six, well, six times three, eight. 18, yeah. you know, 18 picks for the price of a blue chip. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not saying blue chip is bad, but if you want to save a little cash and yeah. pull around the same amount of tone out of your guitar and get one of these, you know what? Let's let's kind of compare it to your okay. blue chip real quick. My blue chip? Okay, yeah. that's a good idea. Um, no. Now, he mentioned price. I forgot to mention price on these. These are $5 a piece. Sometimes Vinny has a lot of sales too. Sometimes they'll be three fifty. dollars sometimes they'll be 4 just depends. And if you give them a 10-pack, they're about 5 bucks off. So I got 10 of these for 35 bucks. So I got $5 off. And they will last a long time. And so let me get the blue chip out here. This is the TP50. This is what I used. And I like it because it's got, once again, it's triangle-shaped. It comes pre-beveled. And it's only like another... Three dollars to have it, but I don't know if it costs extra to do bevel or not. No, I don't think you it is. You just got to tell them if you want the right hand or left yeah. hand. If you play right hand or left hand, 
And this is about 1.25 millimeters. The V-Picks are about one and a half, and his is about, his feels, he it's, says it's, his is one and a half, but it's more like a 1.75. I mean, it's pretty thick. So, all right, we'll try this. Um, play this out. Okay. Let's play with it. To just pick around and do some rhythm. So that was the brown tone. It's thicker. It's got, it pulls a lot of tone. I like that. Like I said, this is the blue chip to me is very similar to the uh, the V picks. Let me try some on the blue chip, and then I'll let him use the blue chip on his guitar. That way, we can have a comparison. Guitar. So that was yours. This is the blue chip. Try. We'll switch here. See what let's goes play, on. Let's play the same tune. Okay. What was that again? That's cold on the shoulder. Cold on the shoulder. Oh my goodness. I'd actually have a uh, a lesson on that here on YouTube. Now, all you Tony fanatics, I don't do it the exact way Tony does it. So just wanted to point that out there. There's a big difference in this. For one thing, this is a lot more pointy. I mean, that's a really pointy shape. It's teardrop. Yeah, the good thing I like about that is I've never really played with these much. But I like that you can have the option of digging in deeper or pulling out to use a little bit of a tip. I like to have a lot of pick that I can use to decide on that. Alright, we'll try it. Starts off on the four. Yeah, it does. Nice. All you need is I don't know those songs. Yeah. Well, that babble is so thick. It does glide it, quite yeah. a bit. Mm -hmm. on there. Quite a bit of glide. The, I didn't think I would, but I like the, the length of that. Yeah. Yeah, very now, With me, most of the time, I, I keep it pretty, I tell my students to choke up on it. That way you have just a little bit show. But I do like the option of having more in there if I need to. And with a thicker a thicker bevel like that, um, it doesn't hinder you when you're doing rhythm because it slides right off. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my V-Pick here. So yeah, just check those out. The Dunlop Prime Tone. Prime Tone. Prime Tone. Prime Tone. And then v Picks, Blue Chip, all those guys. Yeah. Really good stuff. I'll leave some links to that on the video below. 